Hey, what's up guys? How are you all doing? So, Lunaro is here, or Tenno Rocket League, because let's be honest, it is a pretty similar setup. Two teams of Tenno go head-to-head -head in a PvP game mode that centers around you putting your ball in your enemy's hole. <laughs> So it's kind of conclave but without the bloodshed and it's very similar to like i said earlier rocket league it is space football or soccer or whatever you want to call it but is it any good is it enjoyable i guess that depends on the player and whether or not you yourself enjoy game modes like this for me as someone who has spent little to no time whatsoever playing conclave you would think that maybe I would hate this, but I'm actually having a serious amount of fun playing it this morning. It is only just out, so everyone's still getting used to the mechanics and how the whole game mode works, but it is really, really enjoyable. Now, I'm not going to bullshit you guys. I was seriously skeptical when I seen the devs showcasing Lunaro. I did seriously facepalm and think, what the fuck is happening? And I did, but I was wrong. It's probably some of the most fun I've had in the game in a pretty long time. I've only played public matches so far. I haven't played online with any of my friends, but I can imagine that with clanmates or friends, this would be an amazingly fun game mode. Now, don't get me wrong, Lunaro isn't all amazing. It has got some issues that hopefully will be hot fixed over the next few days or the next week or so. The E spam or the charge spam and the stagger and knockdowns are constant in every match. When you get the ball a lot of the time you kind of feel like you need to rush to get rid of the ball before you get knocked down or the ball gets knocked out of your hands and you lose it. So I'm not sure how they're going to combat that. A frozen Boss from Twitch did suggest that maybe they could add a very small window of immunity whether it's half a second or second for the ball carrier once he picks it up so he can't initially be just knocked clean out of his hands that might work i'm not sure team visibility at the minute is pretty bad as well if you're colorblind you're kind of fucked we could do with symbols above teammates heads or a brighter color surrounding them like an aura or something or even bibs anything fuck me to make it more visible so as you know who's actually on your team or not but apart from those two issues they're kind of the two outlining issues that have uh, kind of affected me and a lot of the guys playing it at the minute there's not really a lot else that's going wrong with the game so like i said i was skeptical i didn't think this game mode would work out but this is a really cool way i guess for you to rank up in conclave without actually playing the the bloodshed conclave the annihilation and so on and it will be a cool way for you guys to get your skins and your weapon skins and all that as well so definitely try it out at least give it a chance now i will leave you guys with some footage of one of my better games this morning i've only played a few but i think i'm going to maybe stream this later on today so if you want to watch or maybe join in in some of the matches my twitch channel link is in the description below the video i will leave you with some footage of the rules of the game as well for console players to maybe prepare themselves for when the update goes live for them in a month or wherever that might be remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video or don't if you don't subscribe for more warframe and as always thanks very much for watching this creates a few carrying rules for the lunaro first you cannot carry the lunaro for more than five seconds or it will explode Second, you cannot bullet jump with the Lunaro. Doing so drops the Lunaro immediately. These rules encourage teamwork, passing and rebounds to attain victory. Use your melee attack to check other players. Checking the ball carrier will jar the Lunaro loose. Repeated checking of a player will knock them down for a short time. The Lunaro itself can also be struck, making it dangerous and unstable for a few seconds. Being hit by an unstable Lunaro will knock you down. Each team's goal has a semicircle area on the field around it, called the zone. After scoring, the attacking team must clear the defender's zone. Attackers within the zone will have their arcadas disabled until they clear out. Play resumes with the Lunaro dropping from the defender's zone. Only the beginning and half-time Lunaro drops occur at center field. To get possession of the Lunaro, you simply touch it. It will pull into your arm-mounted launcher, called your Arcada. Launch the Lunaro by tapping the fire button. Holding the fire button for the duration of the throw will launch it further. To curve your shot, try launching the Lunaro from a slide. Your Arcada is also equipped with a range-limited attractor. Hold the aim button to attract the Lunaro when it is near. Catching, interceptions, and guarding your team's goal rely on this. Good passing is crucial to winning Lunaro. When aiming near a teammate, 
You will see a chevron appear over them. Tapping fire with the chevron up will automatically pass to that player. Keep in mind, it is possible to intercept a pass, but a pass Lunaro moves faster and more accurately to a receiver than a standard launch. Getting the Lunaro through the opponent's goal is worth one point. If the goal is scored from outside the defender's zone, an additional point is given. Sun with the gold. scores. One minute left. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 
The match goes to the moon. Well done, Tenno. Savor this moment.